and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So thanks to the awesome tools that exist nowadays, making multiplayer games has never been easier. One big issue with making multiplayer games has always been iteration speed. In order to test out your code, you basically need to make a build for the client or multiple clients, then need to start it up, connect to the server, and finally you can test. Depending on the size of your game, making a build can take anywhere from 10 seconds to multiple minutes. So as you are developing your game, that time really adds up. Thankfully now in Unity 6 there's something awesome called multiplayer play mode. It's a package you can install on your project, then you can go up into window, then multiplayer, and then over here, multiplayer play mode. And yep, it opens up this window, super simple, very easy to use. Here we've got some checkbox where we can enable up to three extra clients. As we enable them, basically it starts initializing those clients. It literally starts spawning brand new Unity windows. And yep, here it is, multiple separate brand new Unity windows. Each of these own separate windows, each of them has a separate console log. This is actually another thing that is usually quite tricky, so this is really awesome. Usually in a build, you can't easily see the console logs. And usually for that, I recommend the Quantum Console. It's a really awesome asset for both seeing the logs and executing some events. But now, if you just want to see the logs, you don't need any asset, any anything. Really just open up these new windows and all of them have their own separate consoles. So now with all of these open, if I just hit on play on the main window, and if there you go, all of them start spawning at once. And now on all of them, I can, for example, start a server, join a game. And if here it is, all of them playing normally, so I've got multiple connections, I can select which one I move, all of them work, all of them have a nice console so I can see exactly how everything is working. So here I've got a really nice multiplayer connection, using this I can test anything I want, and again with the logs and everything it makes it super easy to test. Then up here on each of these separate windows on the top right corner there's a layout button, and over here I can enable all kinds of things. So right now it's only showing basically the game view and console, but we can enable the hierarchy, inspector, scene, play mode tools, and so on. And if with that look at that, it's pretty much just a completely separate, completely equal, brand new Unity window. Then on the main window, there's also this little button here saying default. Here we can configure the play mode scenarios. And this one you can basically create multiple configurations. Here you can configure local instances and remote instances. This is if you want to work with this alongside dedicated servers. Then on each of these instances, you can also define tags and you can assign the tags to different players. Then through code, you can simply read those tags and do whatever you want with them. For example, make one of the windows join the red team, another one join the blue team. And once again, that helps you speed up iteration on your own multiplayer games. And to test that iteration speed, I'm going to make just a simple change to code, just modify something, hit on save. And now there it is, the main window is compiling. So in this simple demo, it takes about five to 10 seconds. And if there it is, as that one finishes, all of the other ones are constantly re-importing all the brand new assets, the brand new compilation. So all of them are re-importing. So I can just click on play on the main window, and there you go, all of them already working. So let's start a server on this one. Let's join on this one, on this one, this one. And if here it is, I've got my four players, once again, ready for testing. So that's how fast it is. Now all of these instances are all running updated code. Whereas if I want to make a build, I would go into file, build and run. And okay, let's see how long this takes. And there it is, the build took over 3 minutes to compile, whereas multiplayer play mode managed it in just 10 seconds. Now technically, with incremental build timer, any subsequent builds would be quite a bit faster, but still would take quite a bit longer than just using multiplayer play mode. So yep, just press on play, and here we have multiple instances, all of them working, all of them running perfectly. Alright, awesome! By the way, this demo that I'm using here, this is the one that I used in my Netcode for Entities tutorial. Although I should say, this works for anything. You can use multiplayer play mode with Netcode for Entities, like I have right here, but you can also use it with Netcode for Game Objects. This would also work for any other netcode stack, and technically you can even use it in single player games. Technically this whole thing is really just a separate Unity window, so maybe in a single player game you could even use this to test like multiple different areas or multiple different save files in your single player games. Really the whole thing is really just a separate Unity window, each with their own hierarchy, inspector, scene, console view, and a bunch more. This really is a super awesome package that helps you speed up multiplayer development. So yep, this is just a quick video to let you know about this awesome feature. I didn't know this existed until I finally use it right now on my netcode for Unity tutorial. If you want to learn how to make super fast-paced multiplayer games, then go ahead and watch that tutorial. Alternatively, for small-scale multiplayer games, check out my Netcode for Game Objects tutorial. I have an overview one and a full 7-hour course, and also have a video doing a nice overview of all the multiplayer tools that Unity has. So yep, making multiplayer games has thankfully never been easier, and now, thanks to having this tool, it is even faster. Also, if you want to stay up to date with what's going on in the industry, check out my Game Dev Report newsletter. This is a free newsletter where I cover the latest Game Dev news and any interesting articles that I come across. Things like a really awesome free VFX Unity ebook. I also wrote about how a janky game made $28 million. Or how much money do Steam developers actually keep. And I also write about some fun topics, like this trend where developers were posting their before and after, showing a really impressive result. So if you want to stay up to date, sign up for free with the link in the description. Alright, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.